What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I was supposed to do a grind down of the whole floor panel for the Mustang, but there's rain in the forecast for tonight and bare metal with rain, water, that's a big no-no. It's gonna form rust. So instead, I'm gonna show you guys what I have planned for the Mustang. I'm not showing you all of the things that I did buy, but I'll show you three or four different things that I did buy that I'm going to be installing in the Mustang. So let's get it started off with the American Auto wiring system. This is the full wiring system for the Mustang. So I'll show you guys what's inside. Well, it's obviously wires, but yeah. First, it comes with a little booklet. Oh, oh, that's awesome. It comes with pictures of how to install everything. So I guess I'll just rip out all of the old wires because I probably won't need to know where the locations are. This is my first time actually opening this, so you guys are seeing what I'm seeing for the first time as well too. Some more pictures, lots of pictures. <laughs> Lots of wiring. Uh, I feel like this is for the battery terminal. And numbered wires for every single location of the car. So, forward lamp, engine harness kit. I'm not going to go through everything, but that's pretty much the whole wiring system for the whole car. This I'll probably be installing right after I rip out all the wires. I'm doing this because the last time I tried doing the high beams, it started smoking. So <laughs> that's something that I'm very concerned about and I don't want the Mustang to be catching on fire. I'd rather be safe than sorry. The next thing on the list is Killmat 80 mil, 36 square foot worth. I'm not sure if that's enough, but I'll probably just end up buying more if I do need it. This stuff is very heavy. It's sound deadening material and I feel like the Mustang will definitely need it. I'm going to be installing this after I scrape down everything in the interior and then spray the interior with rust reformer. After the rust reformer, I'm going to be spraying high performance enamel. I'm not quite sure if this is the right process, but please let me know if it isn't because this is my first time that I'm ever going to be doing anything like this. So you veterans out there, please let me know. Next is a two part mod, one being just a renewal part and one being an actual mod. So the renewal is just a brand new instrument cluster. The current one on my Mustang is all broken, so I felt like it's a good time to switch over to a new one. The reason this one is a mod is because it's going to be an LED cluster. The modification is going to be an Intellitronics digital dash panel. And if you guys are interested in the part, it's right there. But this is how it's supposed to look and I got it in white. So imagine this in color, but all of these gauges are going to be in LED and in white. This is going to definitely modernize the car. I know there are a lot of purists that will hate me for doing this, but and this is how I envisioned the car as a resto mod Mustang. So enough of the spoilers, let's go outside and take out the front seats because I can definitely take those out without having to worry about rust. Let's go. All right, let's start this off with a cold start. I haven't started this in a month, so I'm not sure if it's gonna start up or not. Hopefully it does. Here we go. Just in case you guys didn't know where to find the bolts retaining the seats, I'll show you guys. So if you look under here, there should be four holes, one for each corner of the seat. One, two, three, and 
and four. Okay, so this one doesn't even have a bolt. Alright, so I just took out all of the bolts. This is how they look. It kind of looks like a little hat. I guess this is very well designed because this kind of makes it so that the bolt itself isn't attached to the body. Yeah. And after taking these out, I heard a huge bang. I'm kind of afraid to look inside. Oh, okay. So the seat just fell down. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna take out the driver's side and show you guys how it looks inside after I take out all the seats. All right, just finished unbolting the seats and there was a wide assortment of bolts. Look at this. These definitely aren't aftermarket. This one, it almost feels like it was corroded by battery acid. I don't know, that's what it feels like. And I guess these four are normal. Yeah, let's get to the interior. I'll show you how it looks like inside. So this is the interior. As you guys can see, there's bits of rust here and there. I'm definitely going to have to fix this all up. So the main reason why I'm going to be grinding down everything is because of spots like these. I don't feel comfortable with these. It might be part of the body, but I don't know, like this, look at that, just from wiping at it, ew. <laughs> so there's a bunch of that and it seems like they just coated over it, like especially that portion. And I did grind down a little part of it and it already started having surface rust. So. That's the update for today on the Mustang. If you guys can't tell, this Mustang is going to be a huge project, but I feel like this will make it my car when I finish it up. If you look there, you can see why I want to replace this. Yeah, it's cracked over there on that side. I'm probably going to get a new steering wheel as well. It's cool that it's all old fashioned, but I feel like new beats old in this case. I'm probably also going to have to update the window regulators, maybe make it automatic. I mean, with a whole new wiring system, it should be a lot better. So as soon as I get that done, the car should be able to be upgraded electronically. If you look there, the window is not in the right place. And that's because of this contraption right here. If I make it an automatic window up and down, I feel like it is taking away from the classic feel, but creature comforts, right? <laughs> All right, so before I finish this video off, I wanted to show you guys how the old seats look like. They look like this, and these definitely need to be replaced. If you guys were watching all my previous videos, I did show a little teaser of seats that I got for the Mustang. I didn't show what kind of seats they were. I didn't show you the style of seats that they were, but they are from Corvo. So stay tuned and don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.